Here's a little update on the Lego haul that you saw us got. As you can see, the backlog does not exist around here because I've got most of the Disney Tribute camera built and I love this set so much. It's so cool. There's little secrets hidden inside of it. I don't quite have it done yet. I have to put that top part on. There's like one bag left plus bag one, which I'm saving for Clarkman to build. He built this. This is from the Hocus Pocus set. Cody, or Mrs. Brickitect as she's known in some circles, was kind enough to allow him to build a little bit of it. She built the rest of this part here. And this is really cool because there's this water wheel that makes this go up and down. And that's going to tie into that purple smoke that comes out of there. Sisters! But that was a nice little progress update for this weekend. I will report back on when we have these done and I'll let you know how I feel about it. Spoiler alert, that one's awesome and I think this one's gonna be as well. Clark and I today also went on a little bit of a side quest. He's on a side side quest working on a mech here, Lloyd mech from Ninjago. We also have a little operation going on over here. One thing that I've learned in terms of Lego organization is when you have to dig too much to get your parts that you're looking for, which was absolutely the case with our double wide bricks, that's the time that you need to get these little drawers and separate them all out. And we've been doing that by color. And that's what you're seeing here. We spent a little bit of time today going through all of these and sorting them out. And it was actually kind of fun. It was a little, it was kind of satisfying, wasn't it, Clark Man? Yeah, it was a little satisfying. It was kind of satisfying going through and sorting them all. Uh, we did have to like break some down a little bit. The white pieces, as you can see, I gotta figure something out there. We cannot take on any more white bricks, which is a problem because we have about 3,000 classic pieces. They're back there in the storage room of Doom right now and I'm kind of dreading it, but everything else is looking good. We got the blues separated, there's the reds, the oranges. Lime has its own container, that's kind of crazy. But yeah, I use like what, like 15 of these drawers? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. <laughs> it's gonna take a lot of space here, but man, when you're going to look for a brown brick, Right there it is. What would you build that's brown, Clark, man? The turd. Exactly, yeah. Oh. You, hopefully the microphone didn't pick that up, but that's all kind of underway. Again, this little side quest had going on. I do have even more kind of like classic parts to go through. This is the Megan yard sale lot, Meg, as she's known in some circles. We got uh, all of her stuff here. And as you can see, like the last thing we need is more white bricks, especially ones with the writing on. So I'm gonna go through this and try to weed this all out just keep the the fancy pants stuff and maybe the bricks will just get donated or i'll do something with them but we got something else going on here too another side to our side to our side quest i got my bricklink order my first bricklink order of a few that i did because we got another side quest this whole thing is just side quests this are the, these are the parts that i need to complete some of these sets and i thought i would do a little bricklink haul with you here and you can see what i got not much, but enough to complete all the stuff that I'm planning to sell on the Brickitex store on eBay. Link down below. Did you like that? That's how you do it, Clark, man. That's self-promotion at its finest. Kind of digging all these little side quests around. Look at that. We got two free drawers, something seldom seen in the Brickitex studio. But it's fun just kind of coming down and working on whatever the heck you want. Whatever the the place takes you, you're just like, okay, I'm going to do this today. And this was not on my radar of things to do, but... It felt good to get it done, and any progress is good progress, especially when you're this crazy into Lego. Uh, let's open this up without cutting anything. This is from like some place called Misty's Bricks or something like that. I don't know, but here's my parts. Oh, so nicely packaged. Look at this, Clark, man. She did a nice job. You see that guy in there? Oh. Yeah, we needed one of him, just one of his heads, but I'll... Dump this out so you guys can take a gander at uh, what we got inside here. There's Garmadon. Yes, I needed him too. For my Master Falls set. He was missing, unfortunately. Missing no longer. And he was the biggest expense of this. He was like four bucks. I don't care if you don't like Ninjago. Garmadon is like one of the coolest minifigs there is. It was a shame he wasn't in there. But we got him now. And there's Lloyd creeping yeah. in. <laughs> hey, I ordered some of those. Crap, Clark, man. Had I known. See, this is why you got to be organized. I actually ordered those and Clark is literally building with them right now. I could have stolen those, man. Of course, you wouldn't have them for Lloyd now though. So that would, that'd be kind of a bummer. But hey, we got some extras. In fact, I think I ordered more than what I actually needed. I can't remember what that, what set was that for even? It was for the elf set, which I'm actually gonna build an elf set, Clark, man. Can you believe that? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Dared me. I used two mocks. I used my Clark man mech. That's why I have these joints for my legs. Is this done? Legs. Yeah, oh. and I use my the Lloyd Mech, of course, and uh, that's 
basically it. And then some pie these pieces are from our collection that were floating around in there. Yeah, we got a lot of pieces in our collection floating around that um, need organized. I, I, I only use pieces from that white thing right there. I didn't use anything from our collection. That's just all Clark Man's stuff that he's been working on that I'm hoping that he will sort and put away. If I had these in green, I would use these in green, but I had them in tan from the Clark Man Max, so. Looking good. And I used yellow to make the arms so, super good and stuff, and uh, I'm really proud of it. Proud of you, buddy. Now I can go with my my nice Max. We'll get back to our side, side, side quest here. I'll get these all organized. Hey, speaking of Clark, man, if you want to see this, buddy, I got your parts that you requested here. Clark asked for these. What are these called? Travis bricks? Yes, in the words of Brick 101. Okay, Travis bricks. I didn't even know that's what they were called. And these are yours too, right? Oh, yeah, the I ordered, brackets. I ordered all those for Clark. Oh, I'm so happy I got those. Thank you, wow. buddy. Yeah, you're welcome, man. Enjoy. Yeah, now I can build all the little mini Mac things I want now. That's what the goal was. I have so many. He's got ideas. All right, Clark man's got that. I, I ordered ideas. three of these, but all I really needed was these two pieces, and that completes the Blaze Bridge set. So that's going to go on eBizzle. I'm going to double check and make sure I've got all of the parts and stuff laid out for that. Triple check, actually, because I already went through it twice. But I think that's all I needed to complete that. So that's a good thing. This is for the Elf set. This is for this set. I don't even... No one's going to buy that. I don't know why I'm even bothering with that. Okay. Yeah, I don't think anybody's going to want that set. But I only needed, like, a couple parts. I think it was... I think I needed these as well. But I needed this for something else that I'm working on. It's a, that Scooby-Doo set that I kind of alluded to earlier. This is for this set, which I have to tell you, I have the greatest news. I found the minifigs that I was missing. I needed her and this guy. And of course I have a ton of, as Clark would call, robots. I've got a ton of those. So this set's actually gonna be complete. Uh, this was for this set right here. I got all of the parts together like for this. Here. Yeah, I got all the parts and all we needed for that was that. So that is now complete. Again, I don't know if anybody's gonna want this or not, but it's all there. I just needed that one part. And I think that's it. I completed all those sets and this was like, Right here, this was the biggest victory of all. Putting that together, I think I had everything else that I needed. I just needed that part. This set was entirely there. The only thing missing that I didn't have for my collection was Mr. Garmadon. I even have his swords and everything too. So he's he's good to go. We got that. That was gonna be $10. I got a better deal than that. And we got all of our sets complete. So if you guys want any of these, well, this this I'm keeping. There's not a chance I'm selling that even now because I'm, I'm even more stoked to have that. So I'm gonna build that up. Be selling the Blaze Bridge because we have a duplicate of that. I'm gonna build the Elvis set. I'm gonna make a video on that just for fun. And then I'm also going to be selling this if anybody wants it. This I'm keeping, I'm keeping the good stuff. I'm sorry guys, I'm keeping the good stuff. But this right here, this is gonna go too if anybody wants it. But maybe, you know, somebody outside the community. I know our lego juniors particularly what would some would consider a girl set may not be wildly popular on this channel but there could be somebody out there that this was like their first lego set back in the day and now they just like they want it back again and i have it all completed there so that's pretty darn cool i thought that was pretty much all of the updates that i had for you of everything that happened this weekend but there is one more thing as clark man comes around and shows you the thing that he built inspired by this set which i'm i'm gonna sell because I don't have much interest in it. He did, and he decided that he was gonna take pieces from our collection, and he basically built it. So I'll turn it over to Clark Man for the final segment of, this is what happened this weekend in the Brickitech studio. So we have the wood pile like the original. I actually had the manual of the original on my iPad, and I got the light brick back here. Not Lego, but you turn that on, you can't really see it, and then you can just look inside there and see there's like a workout thing in there a bed downstairs there's a painting there's a, a clock up there by the bed too there's a whole bunch of little miniature stuff built entirely from our collection mm -hmm. the roof was a, the hardest thing to build but i think putting that light brick in there made it feel like it's like a little mini and mini figure house you know, there's two more of these too. You go back and do that. So instead of opening this up and basically sacrificing the cost of it, Clark got creative and used the pieces from our collection, which some of which were actually organized and more will be. And he was able to make that. It's not 100% like one to one, but it's cool enough to enjoy. And it's it's his own creation, which is what Lego is all about, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So anything else? Did yeah. we cover everything? Is that everything we did this weekend? 
this weekend in Lego from the Brickitech studio. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll be back again with uh, more updates as things happen. And uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Clark can squeeze it. How do you make it through there? Crazy. He's like a cat. I'm sick. That makes one of us. <laughs>